We're in the capital of Scotland for the Edinburgh Derby. As much as I love filming in Edinburgh, it's always so hard filming around Easter Road this time of year during the winter. It's just so dark. I hope you can even see me just now for a bit of this street light. Um, but yeah, other than that, very, very dark in and around Easter Road, but a beautiful place to come and watch football. And it's Hibs versus Hearts. I've been to a couple of Edinburgh derbies before. I've seen a draw and I've seen a Hearts win. I've never seen a Hibs win in this fixture. And unfortunately, and sorry to bring it up for the Hibs fans, not many Hibs fans have seen a win in this fixture for a while. They beat Hearts in April this year, last season. But before that, the last time they beat Hearts was in 2019. So Hearts have had the lion's share of the good results against Hibs in recent years. Charlie. And Hi, Bees. Yeah, basically. Not got the best record against Hearts in recent years. Why do you think that is? Probably the managers. You know, we're changing manager every season, but I think obviously Nick Montgomery has came in. I think it was like a six game we went unbeaten or something. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I lost to St Johnson, so uh, I'm sure we could get a result today. Like. And in general, like the fans are quite happy with Nick Montgomery. He seems to have done well since he's come in. It's yep. a fresh start for everyone. You see, likes of Tabarez doing really well. Obviously, the previous manager he didn't really get a chance. So mm -hmm. it's, it's really good to see. And for clubs like Hibs, Hearts, Aberdeen, I feel like they're was like knocking on the door for trophies. But it's so hard to compete with Celtic and Rangers. Are these games even bigger because of that? Like, do you look forward to these games more than anything? Hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, I think Edinburgh Derby's biggest game in Scotland. I mean, Old Firm, obviously. You know, it's it's big for Glasgow, but in Edinburgh, I think if you're a Hibs or Hearts fan, it's the yeah. biggest game of the season. So this is the biggest game for the season for you, lads. Especially at this point of the season, it's kind of crucial time right before the new year, but what's the score going to be today? What do you reckon? 3-2 Hubs. 3-2, and 2-1 Hubs. Chaz, we'll have to be quiet. You're undercover in here today, aren't you? Yes. You've got a hospitality ticket, yes. but you're a Hearts fan. I'm a Hearts fan. You're a Hearts fan. Are you happy with how things are going this season? It's going up and down, up and down, but they're now we've had a good couple of results. So yeah, and Nate Swift's doing okay, you think? Okay, yeah. And predictions for today, what do you think the score will be? I'm hoping nothing less than a draw, but a wee 1 0 or a 2 1. You'll, You'll take that this time of year, yeah. won't you? Yeah. Nice one. A couple of familiar faces, you've been on a few times before, haven't you? How do you think Hibs are getting on this season? They're doing all right. Doing right. Who's been your player of the season so far? Maybe Jordan. Max Big Hybe, as I can see. Edinburgh Derby today. Yeah. How big is the Edinburgh Derby? Massive. Biggest game of the season for you, I take it? Yeah. And who's been your player of the season so far? Here we go, I'm about to start editing. We've got the tea and the coffee over there in the uh, Hibs media room here. And look, I'm currently in the hot seat, Nick Montgomery seat. Maybe he sits in this one. Um, but yeah, about to do some editing here in the Hibs media room. Um, they've always been great with me, have Hibs, so I'll leave a link to their YouTube channel in the description box below. These videos are obviously never meant to be replacement for highlights. I miss most of the action anyway, as the regular viewers will know. So do make sure you check out the Hibs media pages for all the Hibs content that you could ever need. and stuff. He's going to give it, isn't he? Looks like he's going to give it. It is a penalty. Oh, oh look at the jambos.
like the Jambos had already released their pyro. I was filming them ready to get the reaction and it's hit the post and it's gone wide. Look at the Hibs fans in that corner. Been given and it's Martin Boyle. We can't watch. Oh, he's missed as well with the follow up. Oh, oh. oh my god. Look at the jambos in there now. So while it's been an entertaining game, we have a really good atmosphere. There's been a lack of quality in the final third. Obviously, both sides have missed a penalty. As Shanklin goes through now, I say that. Ooh, not a bad effort, but over the bar. And uh, yeah, as we're approaching our time, uh, yeah, there's been a few chances either side where like they could have passed it, they could have crossed it, and they dilly dally, they've given it away cheaply in the final third. Um, it's been a real lack of quality in that final third, like I say, but. 3-0-0, it's been pretty good. Unless anything happens, I shall see you in the second half. So we're past the hour mark now. We're approaching the 63rd, 64th minute. And I'm just thinking of actually like the Edinburgh derbies I've been to. The first one was 0-0, so I didn't see Hibs win or score. The second one was 3-0 to Hearts here. Meaning, I, again, Hibs didn't win or score. I still yet to see Hibs actually score a goal in the Edinburgh derby. Would you believe it? Um, but yeah, the longer this one goes on without a goal, the more I'm thinking it could be another sort of KG nil-nil. Attendance tonight. Oh, my word, Lawrence Shanklin, what a finish! And it looks like I'm going to have to wait to see Hibs win in Edinburgh Derby. Oh my god, the scenes in that away end. We've waited all that time for a bit of quality in the box, and it had to be Shankland. It's missed a penalty, as has Boyle. But there we go, we've had our moment of the game. It's come right at the end in stoppage time. Hibernian nil, Heart of Midlovian one. I'm sure Rangers are watching Shankland at the moment. That's a great strike. Look at the fans, they love him.
over in the game for Clyde One. What did you make of it? Look at the Hearts fans behind you. Yeah, look, it's incredible scenes at the end of this game. The thing is, it was a terrible game of football with a few missed penalties earlier on. I thought that was going to sum up the whole game, to be honest, because there was just a real lack of quality, so many slack passes, there was no end product whatsoever. But yeah, how many times in that final third did someone just give it away, or the yeah. cross was bad, or the pass was it must bad? Must have been so frustrating for both Hibs and Hearts fans. There was yeah. just nothing in the game whatsoever. But just that moment at the end, that's why people are talking about Lauren Shankland. I think that's five goals in his last four games. Scottish Premiership's top goal scorer. Hearts want to keep a hold of him, but certainly clubs will be looking at him because he's in hot form. Could you see him leaving in January? That's the thing, if, if every club in Scotland is a selling club, so if, if someone hits the price point that Hearts want for him, he's got 18 months left in his deal, it could happen. But How much do you think that would be? What would be that asking it's price? It's hard to tell. I think they'll try and push it up as, as high as possible. Yeah. They might look for something around 3 million, around that mark. If that That'd be a bargain, though. 3 mil for Shankland oh, yeah, would, be, exactly. would be a bargain. I mean, but. I, I don't think Today, but I don't really think anyone did, but no. he was a difference maker in the end. So if you can get a guy of that type of quality for that type of money, you'd be laughing. I feel sorry for Hibs fans after today. That's three Edinburgh derbies for me now without seeing Hibs even score a goal. And um, yeah, the Hearts fans are still absolutely loving it, as you can hear. What an insane game. Quite a dull second half, a really exciting first half great pre-game atmosphere and then it just looked like it was fizzling out then Lauren Shankland goes and does that and uh, yeah there's been a lot of um, talk about Shankland um, obviously leaving Hearts and potentially going to Rangers they'll be looking at that and if you know the price is around three million pound then um, what a bargain he'd be I guess Rangers it's got so many goals for them but yeah an insane game and the Hearts fans are still here absolutely loving it Please do remember to subscribe if you aren't already. I'm going to leave some videos on screen. One will be from somewhere where it's nice and hot because it's freezing right now and I miss the sun. And another one will be the other Edinburgh Derby, the last one that I came to that was 3-0 to hearts. That was some game. So yeah, two videos on screen. If you could click on one to carry on watching, that would be amazing. Thank you very much and goodbye.